on Forbidden. It looks like we're good to go. Stellar opening up off the break with the snipe in his hand, looking to protect that OS top mid as he has Lucid sliding out on it. Might have mistimed that a little bit, as it looks like because of the slays, Eco and Bound go down. Stellar knows his head is next, so he disengages and allows Trippy to grab OS and that flag. Like we said, whoever gets the early control often can get an early flag run as well, but flag runner gets stopped short. At the same time, Stellar picks off Lucid, who we have to imagine had the sniper for Optic, and we're not going to see an early cap this time. Maybe this will be the first time we see a bit longer match on this game type. Yeah, this, this would be the first six-minute match in CTF. Right now, that's the... Not, not even the record, Eli. It feels like a speedrun record, but that's the average. We've casted three Forbidden Snipe. CTF matches. All three have been sub six minutes. It seems like the pace is kind of slowing down a little bit. Stellar in the back of his flag defending his base, but Trippy is there once again off the respawn screen. Stellar with no more shots to work with in his snipe. Instead, going to have to DMR melee. No. Trippy takes it instead with just one HP. Can't imagine the, the level of damage. Probably didn't get that third shot in, did Stellar. Instead, Trippy going to get that flag out. And take it. Is he going to get past the SSG side of the map? Down to one HP. Goes down, and that flag will sit precariously there. Available for the reset as SSG are able to claim three down for Optic Gaming. Lucid, last player alive. This flag definitely going to go home. I'm not sure if they're going to actually go down and try to return it or just play Gatekeeper as it looks like Stellar is doing. Goes down the sneaky hole there. They can lead into the tunnel. On the other side, Formal still trying to secure his base. What, what makes this game type so fast that we've seen before is when teams just lose control of their base, it, it changes everything, right? It just makes it too easy for the other team to go in and run a flag. It doesn't have to go very far before the flag is essentially safe for the rest of the journey. So I'm seeing both these teams electing to really make sure their side is secure before they move forward on the map. And so far, that's why either team has been able to get a significant flag run. Yeah, everybody having a tough time moving up on the map, having a tough time just maintaining shields as Stellar finds another slay on his ex-teammate dead zone. As we see even more support, I can't, I can't believe, usually the sub train might die in, uh, during the game, but you guys continue on with the support. Thank you guys so much. Multiple level five 10 bombs and resubs, train, 10, 10 gifted, 10 level 10 hype train. I don't normally stop the action to thank you guys in the mix, but this, this, this calls for it, because the support has been absolutely unreal. As Trippy pushes up, he seems to be, uh, I noticed last year, based on the Halo data hive, Formal was the top flag puller for Optic Gaming, but that role seems to go to Trippy, at least in this one here, as Trippy's had three pulls, all three actually for Optic Gaming, but three go down once again. When you think about the composition of this roster, I mean, Trippy and Formal, typically the, the front line, if you will, they like to go in and make uh, openings for the rest of the squad. Lucid usually playing behind them. They have confidence that he's gonna hit whatever shots he can to protect them from players killing them in the front line. Once again, Formal applying pressure in the space station base all the way behind enemy lines. They gotta be careful with their positioning though because there are some funky spawns on this game type. If you block the primary spawn zones in the uh, flag room, if we're gonna call it that, and the snipe hut, there are some spawn points pretty significantly far across the map, like in this room to the left of Lucid. The other team can actually spawn in that room. So it looks like Optic unable to get much control. All the members that were previously in Space Station's base are now taken down, and it's going to kind of reset the situation. Now it's Optic on the defense trying to keep Space Station out of their base. Yeah, SSG have won the 50-yard line battle. That mid-map control is in their favor. You can see three players occupying the mid-map space. Eco with the OS as well. And this spells trouble here for Optic. SSG have a strong surge into the Optic Gaming base. Not for a backsmack there from Lucid. Could have potentially taken down OS. Nonetheless, they do take down the OS's shields. Back to normal. 100% viability, though, as Stellar looks to put together 100% accuracy. Does so on Dead Zone. Can't clean up on Formal as Dead Zone does earn that DMR trade. And it looks like, despite the strong presence here from SSG, Optic, they're going to make him earn that flagpole. All right. Can Lucid make something happen here? This is now already going to be the longest game of this map that we have seen. As we cross the seven minute mark, five minutes have elapsed, but doesn't look like this one's ending anytime soon. We do have a flag out, though, for Optic. If they can just hold off this last 
push here. This flag looking should good. be able to make it, make it home. It's looking good. It would take some last ditch heroics from SSG, but they're not going to get there in time as Optic Gaming off a scrappy opening that almost lasted to the mid game of this match. Find the 1 0 lead, and it feels like an Argyle CTF at this point, based on the pace of play. Used to see an Aquarius level action on Forbidden, but it's still a new map. I think teams are still feeling out a little bit. I think in about 25 seconds here, when these snipers respawn, we might see a bit more action. You can delete a few members of the other team off the map in an instant. That frees up so much map space for a push, but Optic doesn't care. They don't need the sniper rifle to push in. They've got three members in Space Station space. Space Station trying to get out. Now four dead for Space Station. Trippy's going to go in and get a flag pull as the snipers are respawning. This is actually great for Optic. They might be able to secure both snipers. Looks like Formal is going to try to get his own sniper. Stellar going to try to stop Optic from stealing his. But uh, but Formal sniping Stellar going to stop that sniper from doing anything for Space Station. And this could very well end up as another cap for Optic. Yeah, Formal takes down Stellar, who previously had the battle rifle in his hands. Probably the best counter to that snipe in Formal's hands. Instead, he's going to get a little bit cleaner looks. Not that clean, though, as the pressure is on. The attention is on his head. Oh, Ooh, Stellar on the head of Lucid. Kill. Takes him down with a quickscope double. After taking down Formal, but Dead Zone quickly cleans him up, not allowing much, or I should say as much, of that momentum to roll as 3 do go down for Optic Gaming. SSG are going to win the mid map again, but Dead Zone with one hell of a last part in standing play. Love the positioning here, just holding a line. Dead Zone seeing that there actually were no members of SSG trying to cross the line that he was watching. Instead, Ops to just make a long flank through the tunnel. It's going to pay off. He gets a kill on the other side, but can he stay alive? He's now one shot. Eco now fighting this player top center. If he can stay alive, he hits the no scope on Lucid through just a few pixels of visibility. Very impressive stuff. We always talk about his teammates as great snipers. Don't forget this man is absolutely insane with the sniper as well. Tries to throw it off the map, but dies too early to do so. That sniper could go into the hands of Optic. Looks like it does. Trippy now with that sniper, and it's four dead for Space Station, and Trippy's close to pulling this flag. Trippy with another flag out. That's his fourth or fifth of the match, as he's done a great job providing presence and pressure in the SSG side of the map for Optic Gaming as he looks to stay alive now. Flag sitting still as Trippy trades out with Monster. Dead zone down to one HP. OS up in five. Formal gets another slay. That's going to give numbers advantage here to Optic Gaming. Is that flag just at about the quarter mark of resetting? Dead zone picks it up quickly. Is he getting around the corner? Yes, he is. It looks like as he's going to make it through. Instead, Trippy now with the flag in his hands. Three go down for Optic Gaming. Trippy, there's surely no way he scores the last player alive. Recognizing the uh, process he needs to play here, goes for the slay. And talk about a hero moment here for Trippy. Scores it with the 1v1 win. Now 2 0 lead here for Optic Gaming, despite being the last Spartan standing. How many plays have we seen like that from multiple players today, clutching up when it matters most? Trippy, the primary reason you could argue that Optic is so far in the lead this game. They're trying to force this game five. Space Station has to make a miraculous comeback with just three minutes on the clock. They've got to really start getting control and do it now get that first run home if they're going to try to tie this up and force an OT. But right now, Optic could honestly just play defense if they wanted to. So long as they can keep Space Station from capping one flag, then Space Station doesn't even have the opportunity to activate over time. Don't expect them to let up, though. This new sniper they know is one of the win conditions for Space Station to get back into this. And I think they're going to try to gatekeep Space Station from getting it as formal once again with the sniper. He's been the primary sniper today. He's gotten a majority of the snipes, and for good reason. This guy is absolutely insane. Hits the body shot, and they're looking to close this game before regulation. Yeah, this is big for Optic, just in the sense that it gets their head back in a, a series where they have been dominated to the likes of which, again, it's online. Oh, we haven't seen before online. Optic, one of the best online teams, so I don't know if that you can discredit or credit that. Uh, nonetheless, SSG dominating games two and three, but Optic heal it right back in game four, setting us up for what would be a pivotal game five for the right to compete in the winter final. This monster looks to potentially grab OS, looking at one final chance. This is probably it. Two minutes left, down two. Got to start the scoring here. But monster goes down instead. So too does Eco as Optic Gaming retain numbers advantage and control of the map.
That was an insane win from Formal. Formal getting body shot by the sniper, but just re-scoping and five-shotting Monster in that moment. That was absolutely disgusting. It's going to be good enough, I think, for Optic to, to move forward, grab this OS, and, and really just shut down Space Station's chances to come back into this with just a minute 45 on the clock. No, Space Station actually gets the, the OS, so Stellar sneaks his way in. He knows that they've got to start running this flag now. The only opportunity to get to overtime would be to run a flag now, get it home, and then also pull another flag before time expires. Optic, though, playing phenomenal defense to stop that from happening. Yeah, it takes, what, 45 seconds, probably? 30 to 45, probably, to score. So this is looking uh, insurmountable at this point. Optic Gaming, uh, do go three down. Dead zone, last player alive. And this is it. This is the final chance for SSG. It is not over just yet. If they can quickly regroup and capture the flag, make it a 2-1 game, and scoot their way back to Optic Gaming's base, hold, uh, hold your breath, because this one's not over just yet. Oh, my God. Eco with the perfect positioning. Not only does he... Uh, make sure his flag cap gets home, but he was gonna perhaps be the player on SSG to get the next flag pull, assuming this flag does go home, but it looks like dead zone maybe stops yeah, the flag. No, the, on the dive. flag goes home and Stellar gets a kill. So does Monster. This is not over yet. They got another flag out already. And somehow Rico Monster down. stays alive with the double melee. That's not a trade. And I, they could absolutely force overtime here. It was one minute, 30 seconds left when SSG pulled flag. They scored at the 45 second mark, meaning they have 45 seconds. Just a few seconds of separation, but they're gonna quickly wow. score this instead. They put on the afterburners and SSG out of nowhere have tied this game up. 15 seconds left as they've regained all of the momentum in this match. If they win this match, they take the series. Snipes up soon. That was absolutely unreal. Somehow, several members of Space Station winning their fights without trading out was the difference maker. All of those fights were so pivotal. And suddenly, they're in a sudden death overtime. Could this get more insane? Oh I don't think so. This is... Are they going to maintain the momentum into overtime, though? Could they close out the series right here, right now? Optic have to secure a cap first if they're going to extend the series. And did Optic start playing not to lose? Now, you know that you know the saying, you start playing not to lose. You, well, more often than not, you lose. Playing maybe a little too defensively. I don't know how SSG were able to tie it 2-0 with a minute and a half left. This is reminding me of that comeback they made on Aquarius where they're down 0-3, and they've got another flag out. Stellar with the final snipes in his scope, lands the no scope on dead zone, and this could just spur the series win. If he lines this one up on formal, it could be all but oh! over. As Stellar lands the shot, opens up more space for SSG on the map, looking for a thrilling comeback. Optic have to be reeling they to lose it. like that. Oh my God, the clutch with a minute and a half on the clock. They were down 2-0, Hunter. They didn't even have the flag out with a minute and a half, but they oh, get the back-to-back -back caps, force the OT, and then hit every snipe in OT to win the game. Unreal play out of Space Station. And Stellar, we called it in real time. He needed to no-scope formal, a medium range, and he does it after hitting the headshot, no less, on dead zone. No-scope cross map variety, the first one, but it was the second one on formal that sealed the deal as SSG scored three caps in a matter of less than three minutes after being down 0-2, send it to sudden death, and cause the death of Optic Gaming in the winner side of this bracket. What an insane series. My God.